Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat malam. Selamat berjumpa kembali dengan saya Agus Setiawan Basumi live dari kawasan Cimanggis, persisnya di Warta Jazz House Gallery. Dan Anda sedang menyaksikan program kami yaitu Warta Jazz Talks yang kali ini sudah masuk ke edisi 40. Dan malam hari ini kami menghadirkan seorang tamu spesial yang dekat tapi juga jauh, jauh tapi juga dekat. Nah, nanti kita akan perkenalkan tamu kita, tapi sebelumnya izinkan saya untuk menyapa rekan saya dari kota Gudeg, Yogyakarta. Assalamualaikum, selamat malam Mas Aji Wartono. Waalaikumsalam, Mas Agus. Selamat malam, Mas Agus. Uh, Sehat ya? Kita kedatangan tamu yang istimewa. <laughs> Betul. Ya, langsung saja diperkenalkan Mas Aji, tamu spesial kita. Oke, okay, kita akan menyapa dulu Pak Jensu. Halo Pak Jensu, apa kabar? Mas Aji, apa kabar? Halo, halo. Terima <laughs> sekali karena Mbak Jensu dulu sangat uh, lama di Jogja dan di Solo, dan lama di Indonesia, dan banyak berproses juga dengan kawan-kawan di uh, Jogja di Indonesia, bahkan tempat bermain di banyak tempat di Indonesia, masuk di uh, Ngayuk Jet, tempat bermain juga, kemudian di Rumah Budaya Tembi, yeah. di Salihara, dan berkolaborasi dengan kawan-kawan musisi dari Solo, dari Jogja, dengan Mas Garin, dan banyak sekali yang bisa apa digali nanti dari Mbak Jensu. Baik-baik saja Mbak Jensu di sana. Apa? Uh, Baik-baik saja, sehat. Oh, sehat. Yes, yes, sehat, sehat. Uh, I know there are some English speakers out there so I'll kind of translate <laughs> as I Ya go. betul. Kita uh, akan kita akan ngobrolnya dalam uh, dua bahasa campur-campur yeah, ya gado-gado nanti. Ya campur-campur <laughs> ya ya. Uh, ya yeah, saya uh, beruntung saya sehat um, dan ya yeah, saya tapi masih ya yeah, khawatir teman-teman di Indonesia karena saya lihat uh, news and uh, ada you know the berita uh, tentang situasi di Indonesia um, dengan covid yang masih buruk ya yeah. um, I, i hear that it's still very uh, dangerous uh, in indonesia and um, yeah so i'm i'm just uh, of course i'm healthy but i'm i'm thinking of everybody around the world and And our country too, you know, there are surges now with the Delta variant, and so yeah, yeah. Ada <laughs> banyak. A lot of thoughts, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ada banyak yes, pikiran yang yes, concern yes, yes. karena situasinya memang uh, apa ya, challenging ya, yeah. pastinya uh, sangat sangat tidak. Uh, berpihak kalau saya boleh bilang hmm. ke kita, tetapi uh, apapun itu kita tetap harus uh, semangat dan harus fix menurut yeah. saya. Dan um, malam hari ini sebenarnya uh, kita tidak ingin uh, mengajukan satu tema khusus, uh, tapi yang pasti kita sudah kangen sekali rasanya uh, lama yeah. tidak bersua, lama tidak mendengar karya-karya Jensu dipersembahkan di Indonesia. Jadi mungkin kita akan ngobrol mulai dari bagaimana seorang Jensu meniti karir di musik, uh, lalu kemudian nanti cerita tentang berbagai pengalaman uh, dengan apa ya project-project commission yang mungkin menarik bagi teman-teman di Indonesia atau juga mungkin uh, for those who are watching this program, um, so pardon me that we using a Uh, bilingual because uh, some of audience might not uh, able to uh, uh, understand what we're trying to say in English so that's why we also talk in Bahasa. Uh, uh, just wanted to make sure that uh, everyone that you can uh, check this program and you make uh, you can make also some comments in uh, Instagram uh, at Wartagest and also in uh, Wartagest channel in, in YouTube. And if you like to join us in a Zoom session, is uh, open up uh, as well for anybody, um, you know. So let's start with the, uh, you now live in uh, 
uh, in New York, right? Yes. But uh, at the moment, you do live stream from Chicago. Is it correct? From Minnesota. Ah, from, from Minnesota. Minnesota. I see. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's a bit. Uh, it's a bit north. Uh, yes. I was there in uh, in Saint Paul a couple of years back. Um, so how was the the weather? Uh, I believe it's uh, summertime, or uh, yes, or is it uh, not really like a summertime like it used to be? <laughs> yeah, it's you know the weather is another the climate is another issue. <laughs> um, tapi ya di sini uh, ini yeah it's hot it's it's hot it's summer um, dan. Uh, ya yeah, saya lihat uh, teman saya di sini Ife, halo Ife. <laughs> um, ya, yeah. jadi kehidupan uh, from maybe life from the very beginning, uh, why music? Um, uh, ketika saya masih kecil um, uh, sudah mulai uh, Uh, main piano, viol, violin, um, sudah menari ballet, uh, and I, so from a very young age, I was already playing piano, violin, um, dancing ballet, <laughs> and so I think music was so part of my life from very young until. Uh, really until going off to to college and um, jadi ya yeah, saya saya selalu tahu selalu tahu oh ya yeah, musik ini akan um, uh, ya yeah, hidup saya akan musik dan seni dan um, tari <laughs> um, jadi saya merasa saya beruntung karena sudah sudah tahu um, tapi saya belum waktu itu saya belum uh, main uh, like improvisasi I, saya belum uh, uh, menciptakan karya saya saya uh, ya yeah, belum bikin uh, kreasi sendiri so a lot of it was um, just training classical music training Um, and not yet improvising, not yet creating my own music. So for me, it's very fresh, the memory of starting to do that. And it was really after Stanford, if after college. Jadi saya, saya, ke, um, saya ikut Stanford University uh, yep. untuk uh, universiti, uh, how do I say, um, So many languages in my head right now. <laughs> Kuliah ya. Kuliah di Stanford. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Untuk uh, universitas. I, yeah. I can't remember if that's, yeah. <laughs> um, and di sana saya, saya study uh, opera. Uh, dan um, saya juga sedikit acting, sedikit drama. Um, tapi ya yeah, setelah Stanford saya mulai uh, um, how do I say saya mulai ikut uh, band just local band uh, saya uh, menyanyi uh, just singing uh, jazz standards um, and then Yeah, I, I realized, um, and you know, I had sung some jazz throughout college and just kept getting invited to sing with bands. And, um, tapi saya mulai serius, jazz serius. Um, mungkin ketika saya uh, mengenal um, uh, orang-orang Asia, tapi Asia Amerika, um, yang hidup di... Yang, yang tinggal di San Francisco. Um, jadi setelah Stanford, so after Stanford, I moved to San Francisco and um, met these amazing Asian American jazz musicians and and of course just musicians of all backgrounds um, and began really began creating or arranging uh, Taiwanese folk songs and. Um, because my father is Taiwanese, was Taiwanese. Um, 
and interested now in my mother's side of the family, which was from East Timor, uh, but not getting to go yet because of the, the, uh, the political, <laughs> uh, the problems then still between Indonesia and, and Timor-Leste at that time. So I went to Taiwan first, and um, that was really uh, the beginning of, of, of writing my own music, arranging these songs and, and digging deeper, you know, and, and thinking, well, why jazz? Why, what is, what is, what is my contribution to this amazing tradition, uh, this black American music? Um, yeah, did he, um, mungkin, mungkin mulai, uh, saya tiga tahun tinggal di San Francisco dan uh, saya ketemu Steve Coleman uh, dan habi, uh, setelah itu saya ikut band dia I, I joined Steve Coleman's band dan saya uh, pindah ke New York so I moved to New York but but actually I I went to Taiwan to do do research on um, Taiwanese folk music and also indigenous music of Taiwan. Um, yeah. So that was a big change. And, um, you know, moving to New York and then really focusing really from since New York, that was, uh, say, 2003, uh, saya pindah ke New York. Sejak itu, tahun itu, saya berfokus pada musik saya dan saya uh, rajin uh, menciptakan musik saya dan ide-ide untuk panggung. Um, I really began to write my music and think about the stage and um, mungkin saya mulai campur-campur uh, 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 teater um, dance and um, you know multimedia uh, music and that was really um, the beginning of that process okay so <laughs> yeah it's uh, it's uh, talking about your um, your career uh, especially in the very beginning it's uh, it's a quite how do you call that banyak banget ya maksudnya yang di yang dikerjakan itu banyak tapi kalau boleh menyebut satu titik tolak yang betul-betul like uh, switching your seorang Jane Shu gitu yang jadi titik tolak uh, turning point I would say mm. uh, for your career which part of that historical moments are you hmm. I I really think there are many <laughs> ada banyak <laughs> ada titik tolak ya yeah, ada, ada banyak tapi mungkin yang pertama uh, itu ketika saya pindah ke New York like ketemu Steve Coleman um, pindah ke New York dan saya memutuskan uh, you know mungkin saya uh, how do I say uh, contohnya saya Waktu itu saya pikir, oke, okay, saya bukan hanya jazz singer yang hmm. orang Asia. Yeah. Saya harus bikin musik saya, harus um, menemukan jalan jalan saya. You know, it was really a, a choice that you know I wasn't just going to be a jazz singer who was Asian, <laughs> Asian yeah, jazz singer. Obviously, and you know. So really be learning about the history of these artists, you know, um, and the sacrifices they made, you know, the, uh, everyone uh, that we love, Billie Holiday to uh, Thelonious Monk, you know, and it, so it was like, okay, I have to really understand my ancestry, where I come from, and um, what am I going to contribute you know, to the tradition. So, uh, yeah, saya, jadi saya um, pikir saya harus ke Taiwan karena bapak saya dari Taiwan. Um, saya harus ke Timor Leste. Saya harus mengerti, uh, you know, saya 
dari mana <laughs> I am you know yeah. where am I from? harus tahu asal usul ya yeah it's like I have to know where I'm from before I can know where I'm going you know uh, jadi yeah so saya pikir turning point yang maybe the first one in my career was was going to Taiwan so the but tapi tapi semua um berjadi, contributed uh, elements <laughs> yeah yeah dan dan semua seperti oh 2003 like everything happened in 2003 it's okay. when i uh, saya ke Taiwan saya pindah ke New York <laughs> saya mulai tampil dengan band Steve Coleman yeah. uh, you know so like everything di 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 waktu yang sama <laughs> so baik, everything baik. happened at the same time Ya, yeah, uh, yeah. I think before we continue sebelum kita lanjutkan uh, dan uh, Mas Haji juga sudah kembali bergabung tadi sempat yeah. terdiskoneksi. Uh, mungkin kita mau coba dengar satu karya dari Jen dan mungkin Jen bisa pilih sendiri kira-kira karya mana yang untuk yeah. tease up uh, all the uh, jazz lovers who happen yeah. to watch the show right now or perhaps if they watch it uh, on demand later on in, uh, mm. in YouTube. Ya, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, yeah, jadi kita mau putar karya yang mana ini? Saya pikir uh, yang Vimeo um, mungkin wawancara dengan Garin uh, untuk Solo Ride Seven Breaths. Oke, okay. Karena... mungkin nanti bisa di share dari uh, screennya yeah. uh, Jen ya. Ya, yeah, okay. bisa. Baik bisa teman-teman semua yang mungkin baru saja bergabung dengan Warta Just Talks malam hari ini kami menghadirkan tamu dari Amerika Serikat yang memiliki latar belakang Taiwan dan uh, Timor Leste atau Timor Timur ya kita dengar. Nah, yeah. kita akan segera nikmati satu uh, apa ini yang di-share dari uh, Mbak Jen. Uh, silahkan dinikmati teman-teman semua. Ya, yeah. oke okay, saya coba ya. I was born in Peoria, Illinois. My father is Taiwanese and my mother is from East Timor. They met in America. The interesting thing about being born in Peoria is that I actually found being Asian American much later in my life. I realized, oh, where is Taiwan? Where are these places? And how did I get here from there? It kind of raised my awareness of, I'm different, this is who I am. It would behoove me to investigate that. I was five when I started dancing ballet. Started taking piano at six. But what's interesting is it was all Western classical music that I was being trained in. And through the beauty of that music, I actually learned how to express emotions. And I fell in love with the stage so quickly. So this whole search has been that journey into looking at my ancestry. He said, oh, you fall into a place. Yes, you do. My work is a performance in the sense of a ritual for the audience. The energy is so wonderful and so strong and also so beautiful. So many people falling in love with her. I'd like to just be like a vessel for people to look inward. And I want it to be transformative. I really want it to change the way that they think of themselves. I like to sing about more difficult issues. It can be rape, it can be oppression of women. This whole search has been that journey into looking at my ancestry and why are there problems between Chinese and Taiwanese or between Timorese and Indonesians. You really have to dive into each other's cultures and histories and what would manifest from that is such great understanding and appreciation. I believe in order to make strong work, you have to look at history, you have to look at the giants who have contributed and inspired us. It's like learning a new language, you know, just start from knowing nothing. She can adapt in different culture very fast. You need to shed your old habits and what you think you know. And when I do that, it's a full immersion. These traditions come out naturally. Work with Jen is like work with a traditional people. 
I think why I put everything, all these different cultures in one performance is that so everyone can see how they flow together. They don't have to be separate. They can meld beautifully in a fresh way. It's my goal to give something very personal and that will get people to realize, oh, you know, tra this tradition is so beautiful. Solo Rite's Seven Breaths began 10 years ago <laughs> when I first went to Taiwan. Each nation or each part, each breath, is a, is a concept. So we begin World of Home, which is in East Timor, moving into Java, the world of woman and fate and deep meditation. And then the third world, Taiwan, the world of story. And then in Korea, that's the world of ritual and mysticism. Kalimantan, and that's the world of the loss of our environment, the loss of microcosmos. And then we go back into East Timor, and it's the world of zero. So it's this journey, but it's very spiritual and it's very multicultural. If you follow the journey of Jen in Indonesia, what will be? Peta Upacara, the ritual map. There's something that everyone can grab onto, and I hope that it just makes them, oh, I didn't know you could put those two things together. That's what I want to make people realize, is that yes, it is possible. And using my voice as a way to change the consciousness of someone. Ya sudah. <laughs> oh, oh, saya stop sharing. Bentar. Ya. Ya, Tidak jadi terasa itu... ya. Rasanya jadi cepat banget gitu <laughs> melihat uh, dokumentasi. Uh, itu kapan itu dokumentasi dengan Mas Garin itu dikerjakan? Ya, itu 2014. So 2014. Um, 2014. Uh, that was just after I got back from the two years that I lived in Indonesia, um, uh, setelah Fulbright saya. Jadi I see. Waktu itu. Yeah. yeah. Tapi so the, waktu itu, mm. Jen, sebenarnya sudah ngomong dalam bahasa Indonesia itu dari kecil atau pas... Uh, oh, bahasa Indonesia? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, saya mulai <coughs> belajar di Indonesia saja di uh, 2011. Ketika saya masuk Indonesia pertama kali. <laughs> so, yeah. what is your what is your impression? I mean, when you are first time entering uh, the Indonesian land and and, and then yeah. meeting, start meeting with people, different yeah, so, uh, cultures and background. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was and I was going to say the next turning point in my life was going to Indonesia, <laughs> was being in Indonesia. Um, because I, you know, New York, I started living there in 2003, and then of course worked, um, was mainly singing with Steve's band, and, and other, of course, many other bands. I got to work with Anthony Braxton. Um, uh, jadi, ya, saya uh, bisa berkolaborasi dengan Anthony Braxton, uh, menyanyi di, di dalam opera beliau. Um, uh, tapi ketika saya dapat uh, Fulbright ini, uh, Wow, saya pikir, uh, wow, saya akan, uh, how do I say, I'm going to leave the world of New York, for, and I didn't know how long. I knew it would be at least 13 months. Uh, tapi, ini, uh, contohnya, saya membeli uh, tiket pesawat hanya satu, how do I say, one way. <laughs> one way ya, ticket. Hanya pergi berangkat hanya... saja, tidak tahu kapan pulang. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> yes, betul. Jadi saya got saya got takut like oh when am I gonna what's gonna happen and jadi ya yeah, memang itu uh, a big turning point um, just not knowing and trusting trusting that life was going to <laughs> progress in the right way. So um, yes, yeah, saya, saya juga beruntung uh, uh, Sudah, saya, saya sudah ada daftar, like a list of amazing artists that um, many of my friends, uh, seperti Rachel Cooper, the Asia Society, uh, seperti teman-teman um, di Asian Cultural Council, ACC, 
uh, mereka sudah merekomendasi uh, oh Jen, you have to meet these wonderful people um, and so I already had a list and, and even I, I saw Garin's film Garin Ugrohu's film uh, Opera Jawa before I left because a friend who was uh, American Sindin, Jessica um, oh my gosh, why am I forgetting her last name? Jessica Kenny, <laughs> a great Sindin, American Sindin um, she said, Jen, you should see Garin Ugrohu's film Opera Jawa because you would love it and, and indeed I did and so you know, I, I went to Indonesia just hoping to meet uh, Garin, hoping to meet Rahayu Supanga, who I was so lucky to spend a lot of time talking with, um, and I'm so sad he passed. And you know, and it's you know, Jaduk Ferianto, our f dear friend, you know, um, just can't believe they're gone, you know. Ah, um, and I got to meet Suprapto, and he's gone now. So, yeah, I just feel very lucky to have spent all the time with them. Um, creating, improvising, talking, and um, such great artists, you know, I don't know. Uh, Slama Gundono uh, was one of the first artists I got to meet when I went to Jogja. And um, I mean, of course, I went to Solo to visit him, but but he was one of the first people that, that I encountered. And, um, you know, uh, Slama Gundono, and, ah, uh, al almarhum uh, beliau uh, mengundang saya ikut tour dia di Tegal. <laughs> ikut, uh, you know, he always was jalan-jalan. He was always, always traveling throughout Indonesia and performing. And so he invited me to join him to Tegal, his, his hometown. And, um, and we just, you know, we improvised and performed for all the you know young people and the families in the town and um and i just got to see how hard he worked and how dedicated he was he was just so focused and tapi beliau ada focus tapi juga santai you know it's like at the same time he was so relaxed but so focused <laughs> and um and Oh, never complained, you know, and I know he probably felt a lot of pain um, in his body or, you know, not enough sleep, never enough sleep, but he never complained. And um, yeah, so just like being, being with him, traveling, you know, you just learn so much and, um, and we, we created music together and ah, yeah, I'll never forget, um, uh, Paslamet and and is so creative. You know, he was so creative. He he talked. He showed me videos of uh, you know his uh, wayang uh, air and wayang tana, like just where he would create wayang in in a hole in the earth. You know, uh, to 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 talk about garbage and and what we're doing to the environment. And so yeah, I mean, he really was. Um, a visionary and um, yeah, jadi terlalu banyak seniman saya mau cerita. I, I want to talk about and tell stories, but I know you all, a lot of our audience, they know these great artists. And um, but you know, and when I met Mas Jaduk, you know, he was uh, actually he was at the time producing uh, Garin's film. And I met both of them at the same time, um, and it was the, uh, which film? It was, um, oh my goodness, the first bishop of Indonesia. Yes, Yubio Pranoto. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, and, and that was um, uh, such a long time ago. But anyway, uh, it was, I, I feel like the uh, reset, Jadi saya juga buat riset tentang um, Sindenan, Tari Jawa, dan um, itu fokus saya. Or that was the reason for my Fulbright, <laughs> was to, to study these uh, beautiful um, art forms and begin learning 
the, the tradition, uh, Javanese traditional dance, and also um, Javanese singing, which is Sindenan. And, and so that was uh, kind of, that was the training that I did, you know, daily. Uh, but then at the same time, I, I got to meet all these amazing artists. And somehow, um, you know, I remember one of the first artists I, I worked with also was Echo Suprianto. And, and he's the one who introduced me to Garin. <laughs> um, he, yeah, and, and then Masmiroto I also met. And um, Didi Nini Towok I got yep. to meet while I was at Georgia. And just beautiful... Um, yeah, just I, I couldn't believe I was meeting everybody, <laughs> like all these great artists. Yeah, and yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, so down to earth, you know, so genuine. Um, I I don't know how to say that in Bahasa, <laughs> down to earth, but sangat uh, uh, oh, uh, rendah hati, rendah hati, so yep. humble, and um, so that that was so beautiful, and and I think very you know, different than America. Like if you have a, f a famous artist, usually it's like, kalau uh, artis terkenal tidak mungkin, like it's impossible to talk with them, you know? Yeah. Like, um, like the celebrities. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tapi di Indonesia seperti, oh, yep. oh kalau seniman, oh yeah, we're the same, you know, we're friends. And jadi, yeah, saya... Um, just so inspired, banyak inspirasi dari dari uh, seniman seniman semua. Like oh, just, um, saya pikir mungkin uh, most of my friends and colleagues like Penny Chandra Chandra Rini, <laughs> um, you know, they um, fo have such a strong foundation in in tradisi, in tradition, and then, but they're so creative out of that. So I think a lot of my friends had that kind of background, like mixture of um, tradisi and contemporary and, you know, um, ancient and new. I think this was a combination that um, I think all of us just had a passion for. Like, kita memang, um, how do you say, membuka? Oh, oh, no, no, that's opening. Searching, searching. I say lupa, searching in Bahasa. Um, menemukan? No, now it's to find. Yeah, mencari, mencari. Mencari, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mencari. Like we're looking for that com beautiful combination, like kombinasi, yeah. tradisi, dan, dan yang baru. And, and so, yeah, I, I just think it was, uh, I think that was, the thinking also uh, in Gamelan is that you actually are, are you have to be, know about all the disciplines. You have to know about dance and the instruments and the storytelling. I feel like it was so holistic. Jadi, karena di Amerika biasanya harus focus, harus, oh, kalau menari, Harus menari saja, you know. That's kind of the the thinking in 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 a lot of uh, American <laughs> arts <laughs> is that you have to focus and specialize. Um, and if you don't, then you you lose the quality somehow. But I feel like in Indonesia is much broader and much more open, you know. Uh, I think. Even to be a gamelan musician, you have to understand, um, you know, all 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 the instruments. You have to like, you can't just learn one. <laughs> you have to know all of them, or at least generally have a sense of all of the instruments. And um, you know, and, and as a pasindan, like they say, oh, you should learn rabab, or you know, you need to learn these other, uh, at least understand the other, what the in other instruments are doing, and. So yeah, it was that was a big also a big shift. Um, uh, a difference. Perbedaan, yeah, perbedaan yeah. di antara um, uh, filosofi di uh, se, yeah, seni Indonesia dan seni di, di New York. Uh, jadi 
Ya, jadi saya merasa saya terbuka, I was opened <laughs> uh, while in Indonesia and and, um, and then uh, saya juga dari Indonesia saya bisa ke Timor Leste uh, dan saya bisa ke Vietnam, bisa ke uh, Korea. <laughs> Jadi seperti Indonesia uh, menjadi base, like dasar saya untuk dua tahun dan um, um, Ya, yeah, jadi dari Indonesia ketika Fulbright saya hampir selesai, saya dapat uh, kesempatan ke Korea. So at the very end of my Fulbright, I got the opportunity to study Pansori in Korea. And um, six months, jadi saya uh, per- pergi pulang, <laughs> saya ke Korea enam bulan dan kembali ke Indonesia. Um, I think mungkin untuk dua atau tiga bulan saja se- sebelum saya ke New York, uh, pulang ke New York. Um, so, yeah. And so I think another video I can show you uh, is kind of the fruits of being in Korea and and Indonesia. It was actually a work that I, I wrote because of Mas Jaduk. Yes, because of Ngayo Jazz. It was a song I wrote for Nayo, for Nayo, no, is it not Nayo? No, it was actually um, Gunung, Jazz Gunung. The first time I performed it was at Jazz Gunung, um, uh, which I called Mother of Time. And so, I'll, and I can explain a little. Um, Mas Jaduk taught me um, Wulung Sunu, Wulang Sunu. Wulang uh, Sunu. Um, yes, Wulang Sunu. Uh, na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. So I heard, when I heard the melody, I heard it as a my mi- like minor. I, I heard something minor um, in terms of music, you know, uh, with that melody. And so I arranged it, uh, and I had the lyrics in English. Tapi uh, ceritanya uh, dari pengalaman di Korea. So, it's a big, big mixture. <laughs> um, jadi, boleh saya memutar lagu itu? Ya. Yeah. Ya? Yeah? It's okay. Yeah. okay. Um, buat teman-teman semua yang menikmati obrolan ini, saya sampai nggak tahu mau ngomong apa. Iya. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, sangat menyenangkan sekali. Uh, uh. Jangan lupa untuk berkomentar di Youtube. Ataupun di Instagram, kalau Anda kebetulan menyimak program ini, saya lihat tadi ada beberapa teman, ada Mas Yogi, ada Tante Ria Likumahua, ada, ada beberapa lagi yang lain. Terima kasih sudah join di uh, Instagram, silakan kalau Anda ada pertanyaan atau ada komentar. Uh, kita sekarang lagi ngobrol dengan multi-instrumentalis yang juga seorang penari dan saya nggak tahu dia punya banyak banget ini uh, uh, profesi <laughs> kalau dia punya kartu nama tuh kayaknya penuh deh itu kartu namanya itu uh, dan sekarang kita akan menikmati satu karya dan mungkin Jen bisa dijelaskan ini karya yang yeah. mana ya yeah. yeah, jadi um, lagu ini dari dari album saya yang uh, saya bikin uh, setelah uh, perjalanan saya di Indonesia so this is from the album Sounds and Cries of the World which um, I produced just after returning from Indonesia. And so this song, you can hear the melody, actually is based on Wulang Sunu uh, that Mas Jaduk wrote for me. And I wrote a bass line to that, and then we just improvised off of it. So it's very like loose chart, um, but the lyrics are about a story um, that a, a real experience that I had with some monks in uh, in Korea, and it was about a ceremony called um, I think it was Yong Sanje ceremony, which is a Buddhist ceremony uh, in Korea once a year, and so yeah, the the story tells it. So I'll just play the video. Okay, so here we go.
Ya, <laughs> ya. Uh. satu komposisi yang sangat menarik sekali dan uh, kaya sekali ya karena kita bisa mendengarkan berbagai uh, elemen dan pastinya sih karena ini dibuat di Korea Selatan itu pansuri salah satu ya. yang menu wajib ya kalau kita pergi ke, ke Korea Selatan. Ya silakan ya. mungkin uh, Mas Haji mau melanjutkan. Oke, okay, oke, okay. uh, menarik <laughs> banget, ya, bagus banget. Iya, yeah. uh, bisa dengar melodi ulang yeah. sunu bisa. Iya, yeah, ulang sunu. <laughs> it's it, 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 it mixed with the Korean language, but with the 
in in yen yen Japanese cengkok cengkok yes, cengkok cengkok Jawa ya yeah. uh-huh. yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> campur campur <laughs> campur campur <laughs> oke okay, yeah. yen, yen uh, uh, I, I interest uh, statement uh, Mas Garin about uh, you the first adapt with the different cult- culture yeah mm. and uh, why why you export uh, a lot of the the culture and uh, a lot of the mu- uh, music tradition yeah, yeah uh, from yeah. the different country and uh, what your impact to your uh, creation and your music mm, yes yeah. so why and then what is the impact um Jadi, ya, alasannya, is it the reason? Alasannya, saya, I think one important thing is that I'm so, it's so, I love, it's it's about love, really. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. when I first heard, for her first heard, you know, um, for instance, Javanese music, it's like, I love it so much, you know, so yeah. it's like, Through love, I want to learn and 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 just, you know, it's I, I think I'm very greedy in that way. <laughs> like, mm. It's like I want to learn this music. So I have to, you know, feel it in my voice. I, I, I want to feel it here and and then here in my hati. <laughs> yep, yep, so suara yep. and hati. Uh, and then my body, my badan, you know, that the dance. I just love the dance so much. So I have to learn. And I think with Bahasa, with the languages, it's it's also the same with the love and um, and and not, of course, not just those things. They, it's about the people who, you know, who are <laughs> uh, just the people and um, from from everywhere. And so I, I guess it's just a big love for 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 learning um, and and so I I think. It's, it's very hard to, to define. I don't think about um, I don't think about it too, too much. Like the why, I just do it, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, but you know, the first time um, the pertama kali saya mendengar pansori uh, itu dari film um, uh, Im Kwon Tek. Im Kwon Tek is a filmmaker, an amazing Korean filmmaker, and. And I heard the voice, you know, the uh, male Korean voice and then a female Korean voice, uh, you know, pansori voice. And and I just I just wanted to feel that that <laughs> the singing in my in my in my voice. And, and so it was really, um, you know, and then in order to actually begin to learn this singing tradition, then you have to learn Korean. You have to know the language <laughs> to a certain, you know, at least to a certain level in order to. To begin to sing it, so, so, and then through that, wow! Now I can talk to so many, I well, how many millions of people speak Korean, you know, and how many millions of people speak Indonesian and and also Mandarin, you know. So, so to me, that's like, oh, it's more chance to connect with more people, you know, and so it's, I, I don't know, I, I feel like, especially. Nowadays, uh, hari-hari yeah. ini, uh, ketika orang-orang memang takut sekali, uh, and of course COVID doesn't help either because everyone has fear of each other, right? We have to keep distance. Um, my thought has always been, what whoever is different, whatever is different, we actually love and want to embrace and learn about you know and so it's really kind of the the opposite of of the reality right now where everyone is like afraid of each other and so um yeah i and, and so the, the the experimenting with putting the layers and layers together you know and seeing if it works it really you know that the song mother of time was really just an experiment Experiment, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and a lot of it, a lot of it is all experimenting, you know, and just seeing, because I feel like, you know, we've seen things that are mixed, and maybe it's not a very good combination, you know, or that maybe the it's not as deep, like the the mixing is not as deep, and 
you know, and so I think every, it's fine, you know, but I, I hope my experiments maybe are at a deeper level. Um, and um, and I, I don't know, I, I think people can hear it or feel the difference. Um, you know, semoga orang-orang bisa mendengar, uh, oh yeah, ini, ini uh, eksperimen yang, yang dalam, you know, yang, yep. yang uh, yeah, just, uh, I hope, I hope. Um, and I, yeah, I, I, I don't know how to explain, um, I just think it's important in, in, in these times, especially to reach out in, you know, to other cultures and to, to embrace, you know, um, yeah. it's so important I and mean, for many reasons. And, <laughs> uh, I mean, I've, of course, as a child, you know, so I, cause I think as I uh, um, you know, racism, uh, I don't know, racism, racism, I don't know. Yeah. Rasisme, um, you know, itu saya belajar tentang rasisme dari like sejak kecil, you know, very very young age, and um, and I just knew it wasn't right. I just knew, you know, um, people are judging me based on what I look like, and and then they they are uh, fearing me for being different, you know, and. Of course, my reaction, uh, reaksi saya ketika kecil, saya benar-benar mau mereka um, like mencintai saya. I wanted them to like me. <laughs> like I just wanted people to like me, and 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 not, yeah. Because I don't know. I think when you're little, when you're a young young child, there's emotions are so black and white. You know, it's like. Um, how do you say hitam and then putih? And it's putih. just like, yeah, yeah, it's like, I hate you. I love you. you know? <laughs> and, and so we feel those things as children so extreme, you know? And so yeah. I felt everyone hated me because I wasn't white, you know? Um, and, and this is, it's, it's, it's such a, you know, they talk about in America, racism is, uh, you know, so, but I think all over the world, you know, this is, it's like this, this, uh, it's like this, this thing that, that we're all fighting against. <laughs> and, and I think, you know, it's, it's one thing to say racism is bad, you know, and it's another thing to really um, counter it with, you know, how about we learn about, you know, learn a language, how about we, um, learn how to you know enjoy the food of another culture how about we learn the music of another culture and so that is the only I think the the best way we can counter that that thing that is racism that that um, terrible thing um, and which is really based on fear I think um, so yeah I, I think there's so much work it takes a lot more work, right? To 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 learn a language, to to appreciate a different culture. It takes a lot more work. Um, how, how do I say? Ener energy. Butuh uh, energi besar, eh? Yeah, yeah. Where it's much, I feel like it's much easier for people to just be afraid and to hate or to judge. You know, it's it's so easy. So we really have to work hard to to. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think what, what would be the uh, what would be also the interesting part is that to, if you would like to uh, explore this, uh, one hand is uh, challenges. Uh, the other hand is, uh, I mean, if you are uh, in, a, in a help uh, empty glasses, then you will see this is an opportunity. And uh, as an Asian artist, uh, although I I don't really like to. Uh, classified people as an Asian or non-Asian artist, but um, at least seeing from our own perspective, um, what would be the challenges actually as an Asian artist trying to be like in this, say, uh, in the big community, uh, like in a big apple? 
What mm. would be the the key, uh, or if you may say, a trick to stand out? Hmm. Jadi supaya bisa mendapatkan perhatian uh, orang-orang, terutama barangkali uh, para kritikus uh, musik misalnya begitu. Apa yang harus dilakukan hmm. oleh teman-teman misalnya di Indonesia atau mungkin di Asia uh, hmm. menurut seorang Jen? Wow, oke. Okay. Jadi ini pertanyaan tentang karir. Kind of, ya. Yeah. I think, wow. I mean, it's it's true. Like, I always, you know, sometimes when cr- critics they they say, "Oh, she she focuses on Asian music," you know, <laughs> it's always like, you know. But I also speak Spanish and Portuguese, and I've spent a lot of time in Brazil. You know, it's always like this judgment, this like, "Oh, well, she must only focus on you know Asian music," and. So I'm always, uh, you know, I, I think, I feel like critics, they like to lump. They just like to create the boxes <laughs> and um, groupings and categories and, uh, you know. Um, so uh, on the other hand, though, I mean, I, I always, I've always wanted to Uh, and I think since I was a little girl, because of the racism, I've always wanted to, um, I mean, well, I guess not always, but after I realized, after I <laughs> realized, you know, the importance of embracing my identity and, and um, you know, who I was as an American, um, that, you know, my one of my goals was to humanize us was to and I've talked about this before in in some interviews you know when we you know there's there was you know when anti-asian racism was was in the forefront in America um, and you know of course it, it's always there it just happened to be in the media uh, at that that time because of the extreme you know the shootings and um, but you know shootings are what black people experience all the time you know and we 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 forget that and so let's see how to answer this question <laughs> i got into another realm but i feel like so if, if in the arts i think at least as an asian american it's you know we are trained first of all we're 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 trained not to be art artists. We're trained to, you know, either there's the classical way you become, you know, a Western classical prodigy, or you become a doctor, you know, <laughs> and or, you know, actually there are not that many, I don't know, uh, American Asian American lawyers. It's more like be a doctor, um, and so to be your own artist in America as an Asian performer it's it's still you know there's it's still like there's still a stigma like there's like a a, a doubt you know like oh can you really be an artist like your own artist well, we don't see famous people you know we don't see asian artists getting grammys you know <laughs> or being you know superstars from america of course you know in in asia they've got their superstars you know but I feel like an American, in the American scene, you know, um, it, it's very rare to see, um, you know, Asian people, Asian artists getting Grammys, for instance. And and I just use Grammys as, as an example of um, that kind of being a sign that you've succeeded. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't focus on that because I'm really just focused on you know, what can I create to change the world <laughs> and to, to change the landscape? Um, what music and what art can I uh, give to uh, to make people think differently? And, um, you know, I've never thought about, you know, creating songs that would be popular. I don't know. I never, 
I just never worried about that. I, d I never wanted to do, do that really. <laughs> um, so, you know, I think I, I'm wanting to get a, a certain message across, but I, w I want it to be in the way that I want that message to be in the quality and the, the complexity uh, and, you know, or simplicity of, of that message. I want it to be to have integrity, I guess, and um, and that's all. I, I think that's. Um, I think if you want to stand out as an artist, you really have to, really just be true to yourself. You know. So if I were to do a bunch of songs that sounded like other people's songs, you know, that's not being true to myself. <laughs> um, but. Uh, you know, I, 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 I don't, I try not to judge. I, I'm, I just want to create the work, you know, make the work. And that's, and there's so much energy as we were talking, you, you have to learn languages, you know, um, I've got to internalize certain dance traditions and vocal traditions, for, you know, for, to, to make the music that I want to make. Um, so, and I see many questions. So what about people in Iran? Oh, well, I, I love Persian <laughs> music, um, so I'm not sure of the question. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I would love, and high on my list, you know, I, I would love to go uh, to Afghanistan and Iran. You know, it's just so unfortunate that there's so much, um, you know, politically, there's so much. Uh, yeah, things uh, going on right now. Yeah, yeah. But. Um, and then what extent are you dealing with this pandemic, um, the pandemic times? That's a great question. Um, so a few things that I, I had in mind to talk about. Um, so I think out of, out of these difficult times, you know, we have to really be creative. And I think that is something that everyone who is an artist or creative person who doesn't have a normal job, you know, has had to figure out. And um, uh, one thing, well, aside from that, you know, in addition to that, I, um, uh, at the beginning of March of last year, when our lockdown started in New York, um, I was thinking about all the artists who, you know, maybe don't have grant support like I have gotten, um, are just maybe just moved to New York, you know, didn't have all the time to build their career up until this moment. Um, jadi, yeah, waktu tahun yang lalu, uh, bulan Maret, um, saya hanya memikir pada teman-teman yang yang seniman yang belum ya belum terkenal atau belum ada uh, dukungan dari fundasi like grants uh, atau belum belum dapat dana dari you know um, the support I guess belum yeah. Uh, yeah belum ada ada uh, bantuan ya yeah yeah belum ada bantuan uh, yeah it's like it's still new like a seniman yang baru. <laughs> um, jadi saya memikir, memikir pada mereka dan uh, khususnya dari uh, uh, like thinking about women, you know, perempuan, um, artis seniman, seniman yang yang um, I don't know how to say like non-binary, you know, or queer, or um, you know, or, or Orang orang yang tidak yang bukan putih, basically non-white <laughs> people and non-male, um, you know, dominant um, in those dominant groups. I was thinking of us, and, and in America we say underrepresented. I don't know how to say in Indonesian. Mungkin uh, orang orang yang uh, yeah di I, I don't really know how to say, but at least 
it's easier just to say underrepresented in in our world, in our creative world. Um, and so uh, my friend, the Mansaya Sara Surpa, uh, yang juga penyanyi bagus, penyanyi jazz, um, juga uh, dia uh, adalah komposer, komponis. Um, dan Sara dan saya mulai ngobrol tentang keadaan COVID dan um, kami how do I say, mengumpulkan, we gathered um, 12 artists together, so uh, 10 uh, artis yang lain untuk ikut kami uh, dan seperti just kumpulan, like a group. Um, dan kami selama enam bulan mulai, um, uh, how do I say, diskusi tentang um, seni, tentang uh, uh, karya, tentang karir, tentang, uh, you know, just everything um, about our work and our lives and support. So it was like um, a support group in a way. But we also uh, had, so, Kalau total itu uh, 12, is that right? 12 people, 12 seniman. Then we paired everyone, so each uh, person had a partner. So then there were six, uh, enam, um, enam pairs. So, and then those two people, each, each pair would create um, bikin jadi uh, setiap uh, dua orang <laughs> pair um, bisa uh, menciptakan karya like together bersama. Jadi itu was our commissioning program and idea, and um, we call it mutual mentorship for musicians. And this cycle we actually um, had Rani Jambak orang Indonesia. Uh, dari Medan, um, uh, dia melamar untuk M3 program kami dan sukses. <laughs> Jadi senang sekali Rani bisa ikut um, dan ya Rani seniman yang bagus. Uh, she's a vocalist dan juga uh, soundscape artist and um, yeah just keren orang kore keren just super amazing person and um, yeah and then about uh, we have to finish soon but uh, so many great questions um, but yeah maybe we'll watch one more video and then talk about uh, uh, patreon which is another alternative for artists that I wanted to talk about so yeah Um, jadi buat teman-teman uh, tidak terasa kita sudah lewat satu jam ngobrol <laughs> dan masih ada banyak uh, topik yeah. yang ingin kita diskusikan. Namun yeah, demikian kita masih banyak banyak apa pertanyaan-pertanyaan yang yang sebenarnya banyak yang harus dibicarakan dengan Jen. <laughs> Betul. Tapi namun demikian uh, kita akan nikmati dulu satu yeah. satu komposisi lagi barangkali ya dari yeah. Jen uh, dan ini sekarang kita akan dengarkan yang mana ini. Yang ini ini uh, terakhir video terakhir. Oke. Okay. Mungkin atau ada waktu untuk two more? Kami yeah, of course. Uh, we can we can we can extend the uh, the ah, conversation a little bit. Okay. Um, okay. I just need to make sure that everybody uh, yang mungkin baru nonton atau for those who just yeah. joining this program, uh, we are now having a, a nice conversation with uh, Jan Chu. Uh, we currently uh, live from Minnesota, but uh, she is based in uh, in New York City. And uh, this is a water just talks. And uh, if you have any questions or comments regarding her work or a possible uh, future collaboration or anything that you would like to know, feel free to uh, to send your message through the uh, chat box in whatever social media that you are using or watching right now. So uh, this is Jen Xu uh, and she's going to play the uh, Nine Doors. Yeah. 
Yes. So I just want to um, explain a little. This work was very much mainly based on a dear friend of mine um, who passed away, uh, Surijoko Raharajo Chilik, who was a young Dalang. Uh, I don't know, Aji, if you ever met Srijoko. Yep. You did? Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, amazing young Dalang, and he was killed in a car crash um, and with his wife and, um, you know, baby son, newborn baby son. And so I, it was, you know, just soon after I returned from Indonesia and so I created I wrote this piece really as a, an homage and a way of grieving um, just to process the grief and uh, of so many of us in the community and so you'll see a lot of influence um, I feel like maybe sometimes I'll stop and pause <laughs> between songs to explain so uh, this beginning scene actually is uh, it's as if, so this is a theatrical work, and this beginning scene is as if I'm practicing, um, you know, just what I was learning, that, that I was in Java. And, and then I receive a call um, telling me of his death. So it's a little theatricalized, but um, it was very uh, real. So let me just play this. Death comes without recognizing when and whom it will take. At this, I 
Mati. Jadi saya mau pause untuk menjelaskan sedikit. Um, jadi uh, yang yang uh, alat yang besar yang uh, saya menyanyi dalam bahasa Jepang uh, itu namanya biwa. Uh, so that instrument, the pear-shaped instrument, is called the biwa. And um, and so that was kind of a song where I was uh, I was singing just after hearing the news. So in this in this piece, and then the next piece you heard on the piano, that was actually an arrangement um, that Joko's uh, mother gave me permission to arrange, and that was uh, Sinom Semarangan, and um, and so yes the. It was based on Sri Joko's work, which he created for us. And um, I'm sorry, my mom is texting me. But um, so that was that piece. And so you heard in Bahasa, I was just singing kind of the perspective of his daughter who survived. And and just the words, you know, I remember mother dancing because her mother was a dancer. Um, I remember father numbang, you know, singing, um, and then I remember Adik Nangis crying, and it's so sad. But um, that was kind of yeah, very uh, special uh, arrangement that uh, I was able to uh, arrange of his piece, and that we sang that as a as a traditional gamelan piece in solo. Um, in 2012, you know, uh, it was a, for a graduation. He just wrote it for a graduation ceremony, and he invited me to sing um, on that song. So, and then what you just heard was um, the moon lute. So uh, I would say guitar bulan um, from Adari Taiwan, and um, so that was the last piece. And then now you're seeing like uh, pansori. But in English, so pansori, tapi dalam bahasa Inggris, tapi ceritanya tentang uh, <laughs> cerita dari Timor uh, Barat, actually from West Timor. So again, campur campur. <laughs> um, but this legend from West Timor is a very strong woman, and so in the whole story, this is one of the legends that. Uh, his young daughter, who survived the car accident, um, kind of learns from in, in in this piece. So I just wanted to explain. Okay. Bye -bye. Throw away your waving stick. She returned to her hut and cried, for she knew not what she should do. But a rat came to her and asked, why do you cry? She answered, if I strip naked, he will see my breast.
Ya, jadi itu lagu uh, liriknya, uh, uh, the puisi, is actually also by Sri Joko. And it was just a poem, um, but I again asked the family if I could write music to it. So uh, that was my own composition with, with Sri Joko's um, words. And then this next, uh, yang berikutnya, ini lagu asli, or how do I say, lagu... Um, uh, new song, <laughs> Lagu Baru Dengan Biwa uh, dari Jepang. Okay. By your side I will stay Please convey my feelings My feelings will surely reach you My feelings will surely reach you firewood, three years of carrying water, three years making fire, and only then could she earn the holy water. Ah, I'm gonna go 
toward the sky that you grit flew into. An endless deep blue expanse. Yesterday brought happiness. Today I am Yeah, Suda. <laughs> uh, uh, so do you say Kali? <laughs> uh, emotional. Kali. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Saya juga tadi nangis. <laughs> ini lama saya tidak lihat ini karya ini. Um, yeah, so itu yeah bisa dengar banyak. Uh, how do I say influence dari Jawa ya yeah. D- dari yeah. dari lagu cengkoknya ya yeah, hmm. sudah masuk <laughs> masuk <laughs> my soul <laughs> so okay, yeah. uh, waktu kita sudah ya yeah. okay let's talk about uh, your music let's talk about your the new album because I think uh, your new yeah. album is very emotional and maybe very mm. personal yeah and betul. a lot of uh, not not about uh, your life but also about uh, the the world situation right now yeah 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 uh, especially in American about racism about the yes uh, uh, can open with the optimism but uh, yes a lot of the somber a lot of the uh, problem in the world yes, your, yes. Uh, album but the yeah. first maybe you can uh, talk about the group the jet of towns yeah yeah before, Jade before Jade. you explain uh, your new album the zero grass yeah yeah jadi group ini j tang uh, mulai wow mungkin setelah saya pindah ke New York and of course I was so interested in language so tongue is about bahasa <laughs> um, and thank you Ricky I see your comment and Ife thank you I see your comments in the zoom um, so Jade tongue tongue is because I knew uh, even when I started the group ketika saya mulai grup ini saya tertarik how do I say, sangat tertarik pada bahasa and mixing, campur-campur bahasa. So now you've heard many examples. Um, and so this group uh, now with this band is with Ambrose uh, Akin Musuri, who's an amazing trumpet player, Dan Weiss, the drummer, brilliant, <laughs> um, Thomas Morgan on bass, who is one of my favorite bassists, and he's very quiet, but he's a monster on the bass, um, and Matt Maniri, who's an amazing violist and uh, was my improvisation teacher. You know, I took lessons from him 
very early on before I started working with him. And so, yeah, the, this group I love so much. And um, I, yeah, we did uh, the album right after I returned from Indonesia. We, it was the same group. So that was Sounds and Cries of the World. And um, yeah, and so I've, I've worked with them most since then. Um, and of course, this album, uh, Ambrose recorded remotely because he was in California. So he heard what Matt, Danny, and Thomas and I did. He listened and then recorded on top. <laughs> so, uh, but yes, I mean, the, the songs, I, I feel like, uh, you know, the first song is, as you said, optimistic. It's a choir piece, but it, and it's, uh, I wrote it. Uh, for middle schoolers, for young people. And um, jadi saya menciptakan karya yang pertama di album saya. It's a choir, so chorus. Um, dan saya buat suara saya empat, saya merekam empat kali, four times recording, on top of uh, the layers of myself. And um, Tapi awalnya itu saya menciptakan ini untuk chorus di Brooklyn. And tapi karena pandemi uh, kami tidak bisa uh, apa ya uh, tampil langsung tidak boleh karena pan yeah. pandemi jadi um, tapi liriknya itu mungkin sembilan ninety percent was the students the murid murid uh, uh, bikin liriknya dan saya hanya like organize <laughs> i organize the lyrics and um but you know i i think one of my favorite lyrics is uh, like stuck in my room all day not knowing what uh, not knowing what to say uh what is that i can't believe it's not safe not even to my favorite cafe <laughs> so um but that was actually some interesting things uh, da, 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 da. it was based on <laughs> a, a yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, and of course <laughs> and then six feet by six feet right so pelog enam just ironically uh that's some inside information um but but yeah because another lyric is like six feet by six feet is my safe space so so all these lyrics i just created music to their words about how they felt as students being you know locked away in their homes and um so that was uh, uh, a song that opened the album and then right after is a lament that i wrote for brianna taylor who i'm sure you might have heard in our news um she was a black woman who was a medical uh ent worker who was just shot uh, in her apartment while she was sleeping. And so, you know, this, it, I feel like these murders and killings have, have been happening throughout history since, I mean, you know, we had slavery in our, in our country. Um, and, and the media, you know, it's, it's, it's so, uh, I have much to say about how the media plays into, our consciousness um, as a people, but you know, um, there was that the focus was on it, I think, was finally <laughs> on it, and, and with the killing of George Floyd, and you know, finally the world was kind of um, so focused and you know, realized, of course, this has always been happening, um, but the 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 way i had written the song i actually used um uh, an article i was reading so many articles um from home because at that time covid was still very dangerous and um and it was articles from uh, i saw an interview a lot of interviews with her mother brianna taylor's mother and this particular interview was about how she was afraid of her daughter just getting covid that was her big fear that because Brianna was you know a medical worker that she would contract COVID and and that just broke my heart you know because of what happened in the end and um, you know she didn't get COVID but she was killed and just senselessly I mean just 
Um, and still justice has really not been served. Um, and this is just, you can see how our legal system, I, I know every, every government country can probably complain about their legal system, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's such a tragedy. Um, and so I wrote about just really from the words of, of um, it was like a conversation between the mother and, you know, uh, in, in this article, it actually had Breonna Taylor speaking as well, um, just from the mother's perspective. And, you know, saying, you know, Mama, I'm going to be okay. I have to do what I have to do. And, you know, so I wrote that song for Brianna. And um, the piece that it was based on is called Zero Grasses, and which, was, which is my newest theatrical um, work. And really an homage to my father, uh, who passed away two years ago in April. And... So it was the idea of, even though my father passed away before the pandemic, um, you know, my album just kept getting postponed uh, uh, because of the pandemic and then just, um, yeah, so we couldn't put it out. And so I actually, it gave me time, more time to write music uh, about what we were experiencing. So, um, so then it was just released in April of this year and um, but it's you know in terms of the link with the Brianna song and um, you know with racism and you know I, I wrote a piece uh, called when I have power and and the lyrics are based on my diary uh, jadi liriknya uh, berdasar pada how do you say diary? Uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Buku harian. Buku harian. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Buku harian. Uh, <laughs> ketika saya kecil, jadi waktu itu saya uh, umurnya uh, uh, 15. Saya 15. <laughs> um, just 15 years old. And liriknya sangat, um, how do I say, sangat innocent. Sangat like, um, you know, uh, October 11th, 1993, I'm 15. Uh, dear diary to 1046 p.m. I've had a most interesting weekend, Friday. An eighth grader called me a chink. So chink, itu nama yang sangat jelek, um, yang, yang orang putih, itu uh, memanggil orang yang Asia chink. Uh, jadi, jadi di dalam buku harian saya, saya menulis, ya, like um, I wrote, um, um, you know, I felt degraded and confused, and uh, and I write, you know, why is there racism? Why did he call me by my race? This world is so confusing. I took a good long look at myself and saw through my face and into my heart and soul. It was beautiful and nothing to be ashamed of. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I've had a most interesting weekend. When I'm famous, I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna set things straight. <laughs> so when I have power, when I have power, I'm gonna set things straight. And uh, you know, that's what I thought as a child. Like, when I'm older, when I have power, I'm gonna make things right. You know. <laughs> so in a way, um, that's just what I'm still trying to do. <laughs> and I knew from 15 that I'd be working on this. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, the album is, it's about coming of age. It's about um, um, getting older and kind of losing your innocence. And, um, but in the end, and I'll, maybe I can play the last song of the track. Yep, yep. I do yep. the video. And, and this, you know, I also talk about, which is very taboo in, in Asian culture. I talk about fertility and, um, you know, in the show, I actually show scenes of uh, when I'm going to the fertility doctor uh, because I'm already, you know, I was already 40 when I wanted to start having kids. And 
just a, a discussion about karir, karir dan yeah. keluarga, and that that conflict. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it, yeah. So so anyway, so the last song, you know, I say. Um, um, take back time, you never lost it. You know, take back time, you never lost it. And it's a very, it's supposed to be empowering uh, for women, especially. So, uh, uh, jadi boleh saya sharing? Boleh. boleh. Itu? Okay, okay, okay. Sebentar ya. Okay. Jadi ini dari, ini dari album baru yang lagu yang terakhir. So this is the last song with the same band as you heard actually yeah mother of time same band <laughs> yeah <laughs> so same band okay uh, hide video okay and yeah Thank you. 
<laughs> ya. <laughs> uh, ah. Bagus sekali. <laughs> Ini banyak. Wah, wow, I can ya. see all the influence. Yes. <laughs> jari, jari. You are the great dancer. <laughs> and, and Ambrose is amazing, ya. Yeah? Ya, yeah, Ambrose. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. Ya. Yeah. Wow. Ah, jadi. <laughs> ya. Yeah. Yeah, seize the day. Okay. It's really about seize the day. So okay, in your yeah. music, I I, I always uh, feel the 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 Japanese uh, the Japanese feeling in in your music. Yeah, rasa. I know it's like permanent, permanent. <laughs> Dan untuk untuk kawan-kawan yang bergabung, Mbak Jen ini tidak hanya bisa berbahasa Indonesia, tapi juga bisa berbahasa Jawa. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. ada, tapi ya agak lupa bahasa Jawa, yeah. kromo saya. Ya, <laughs> ya. Yeah, yeah. Oke, okay, Jen, uh, apa yang menarik dengan Jawa, dengan filosofi Jawa yang 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 Jen, yang kemudian Jen, uh, it's, it's always uh, 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 involved in your music. Ya, yeah, why? You mean why? Or or bagaimana? Bagaimana? How? Bagaimana? Ah, oh, I think, you know, it's fun. Did I did I tell you my nenek, nenek saya lahir di Timor Barat. Jadi, yep. actually, she's Indonesian. <laughs> <laughs> And I didn't know this until, uh, you know, until I was in Timor Leste and I was getting my citizenship. So I was becoming, uh, saya menjadi orang Timur, like my dual, dual citizenship. And I saw on, you know, in the form that my mother's mother was born in, 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 in Timor Barat. So I am technically, I have Indonesian <laughs> background. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's so funny. It wasn't just because I, I lived there for two years. I think, you know, in Java, I think something about me was somehow already so close <laughs> to the 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 aesthetic aesthetic aesthetica yeah. aesthetic um to jawa so even the dance you know it feels much more natural than ballet which is what i trained in for years and years you know um but something about javanese dance feels much more natural for me and um and So, I don't know, I feel like budaya, I feel like the culture is, is so apparent in the art, right? In the, in the artistic expression. And, and so there's just a, slow, a slowness, a patience. And um, I think really it's about patience and reflection. Uh, uh, med- uh, re- reflexi. <laughs> uh, sabar kesabaran <laughs> that um yeah maybe it, it uh in america you know it's the opposite it tends to be or at least in new york in new york in different you know america's so big i think just in new york is where it's uh very fast and um but i did want to mention someone mentioned uh, asked about the time uh the covid time and how i've um, managed to support i did want to talk about patreon Uh, not just because I have a page, but because it could be an option for you as an artist out there. Um, and I, I do, uh, once a month I've been um, giving an info session on starting your own Patreon page. But So what it is is that you, you can have, it's a platform where you can share your work, uh, post you know, a new piece uh, of yours or maybe just Um, an idea you have, or if it's writing, or any art, visual art um, that you are working on, and it's a way for people, your fans, um, to support you. Jadi ini ini cara uh, di mana uh, orang fan uh, atau orang yang suka uh, karya uh, anda um, gemar ya? Ya, jadi jadi mereka bisa uh, apa? Like um, uh, mendukung. Mendukung, mendukung. Jadi, each month, each month, like five dollars. Uh, you know, everybody has a different range, but um, you know, five dollar, ten dollar a month, and, and people, 
can support you. So if you kalau kalau anda uh, a seniman, um, you know, mungkin bisa uh, so patreon.com bisa meneliti <laughs> research uh, this this way. But um, it's also a great way to create community. Uh, jadi uh, kada, uh, setiap bulan saya buat workshop uh, tentang vocal improvisasi, um, juga jam session, juga um, uh, saya juga uh, uh, how do I say not teach yes I do teach music <laughs> uh, tapi saya juga share saya membagi uh, pengalaman saya untuk uh, contohnya grant writing so uh, hmm. bagaimana bisa mencari dukungan dari dari pemerintah atau dari fundasi you know um, ini dari yayasan atau ya ya ini penting penting sekali untuk artis ya yeah. uh, untuk um, I, I know Jaduk was so smart you know also in finding ways to support you know festival atau atau seniman atau um, at, ya yeah, atau organis, or, organisasi uh, ini jadi ya yeah, seniman harus menjadi entrepreneur ya yeah. uh, jadi itu 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 penting sekarang um, uh, harus harus uh, how do I say menjadi uh, mandiri independent um, and and coba I think it's both I think we have to work together support each other tapi juga harus harus mandiri <laughs> um, so it's it's both 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 things and uh, so yeah that's um, uh, and also to create a community like uh, I think my favorite event on my Patreon page, um, uh, acara favorit saya di Patreon saya itu saya men, uh, mengundang uh, lima atau enam seniman untuk berbagi karya mereka untuk untuk uh, Patre- komunitas Patreon saya dan uh, setiap setiap karya diputar. Um, semua memberi komentar atau um, uh, how do I say advice or feedback um, and and it's great because we don't have that now because you know biasanya itu uh, setelah tampilan atau set, setiap pentas bisa ada you know interaksi dengan audience um, jadi saya lihat oh okay sekarang uh, uh, tidak ada kesempatan itu yang it's not often that we can do that now um, and so it's a great outlet for um, seniman to meet each other to uh, give feedback and uh, to learn about the process also about um, you know just create a process process k- kreativitas <laughs> so yeah so much to talk about <laughs> <laughs> so. Oke, okay, um, banyak sekali yang masih ingin kita obrol ya, tapi um, tidak terasa sudah dua jam kita yeah. obrol dan juga menikmati <laughs> sebagian dari karya-karya milik uh, Jen Xu yang terinspirasi dari banyak tempat dan disampaikan dalam banyak uh, ragam tutur uh, bahasa uh, dan juga instrumentasi. Um, kami ingin mengucapkan terima kasih buat teman-teman semua yang sudah bergabung, ada kurang lebih 45 yang bergabung di Instagram dan beberapa sudah mengirimkan pertanyaan dan sebagian juga sudah dibacakan atau dijawab oleh uh, Jen Xu. Uh, tapi saya percaya Anda mungkin masih belum puas dan uh, itu artinya Anda punya kesempatan untuk melihat-lihat uh, halaman uh, sosial media dari uh, Jen. So, jadi mungkin Jen bisa infokan sebelum we say goodbye. And also yeah. closing with your closing statement. Um, inform your uh, where we can reach out uh, you or yes. like uh, like uh, if anyone wanted to ask or mm. you know give some comments or even contributed to some of your work. Absolutely. Yeah, go ahead. So, Instagram, saya, saya, I'm very easy to find. 
<laughs> um, uh, so the IG is just Jen Shu at Jen Shu, uh, J E N S H Y U. Um, also, F Bay Facebook is very easy, Jen Shu. Um, then, say sharing the Zoom, yeah. Then, uh, Patreon juga, patreon.com slash Jen Shu. Um, okay. Yeah, jadi gampang, gampang menemukan saya. <laughs> It's easy to find. Yeah, buat teman-teman yang mungkin uh, menyimak program ini dan baru saja bergabung, uh, anda bisa uh, tonton di laman YouTube uh, Warta Jazz Channel dan anda bisa menikmati seluruh percakapan uh, kami dengan Jen Xiu pada malam hari ini. Saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih banyak untuk Yan Xu, untuk waktunya, sharingnya, dan beberapa insightful uh, information, I would say, uh, especially for emerging artists yang datang dari uh, latar belakang uh, Asia, dan tentu saja juga untuk uh, siapapun Anda yang tertarik uh, bekerja dan berinteraksi dalam uh, dunia seni atau bekerja sebagai seorang seniman. Uh, saya Agus Setiawan Basuni, live dari Warta Jazz House Gallery di kawasan Cimanggis, dan rekan saya di Yogyakarta. Dan saya Aji Wartono dari Warta Jazz Office di Yogyakarta. Kami berdua mengucapkan terima kasih, tentu saja bersama Jen Xiu, atas kebersamaan dan perhatian Anda. Jangan lupa hey. untuk selalu menyimak uh, wawancara atau program Talks Warta Jazz. Uh, minggu depan kami akan kedatangan tamu dari Austria, di jam dan hari yang sama Rabu jam 8 malam waktu Indonesia Barat silahkan bergabung link Zoom bisa didapatkan melalui website wartajes.com akhir kata Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh selamat malam dan jaga kesehatan